everyone, I'm Alexis and I'm here to explain the basics of how to tune your clarinet and how you can improve your range. Now, before I explain how to tune, I strongly recommend that you get a physical tuner, specifically the Snark Tuner. This can be bought at pretty much any music store. I got mine at Sam Ash, or you can even get it on Amazon. What I like to do is I like to clip it on the bell of my clarinet like this, so then you can easily see if the note you're playing is in tune or not. When you play a note, the tuner lights up like this. And if the tick mark is in the middle of the tuner, this means the particular note you're playing is in tune. If the tick mark moves to the right of the tuner like this, it means the note you're playing is sharp, but if it moves to the left like this, it means the note you're playing is flat. Now sharp basically means that the note you're playing is of a higher pitch than it should should be like this see how the pitch was way higher than it should have been that means the note is sharp in order to adjust this you should either pull the first thing you should do is pull out your barrel little by little and after each adjustment play the note and once it appears to be in tune stop adjusting your barrel if you've already pulled it out a significant amount like this and the note is still sharp this probably means your embouchure is too tight now, in order to fix this, you should loosen up your embouchure little by little, and after each adjustment, play the note. And once the note is in tune, then stop making adjustments to your embouchure because that means you're good. Now, if the note is flat, this means that the note is of a lower pitch than it should be, like this. See how the pitch almost sounded like a half step below what it should have been, so this means the note is flat. Now, in order to adjust this, you should push in your barrel little by little, and after each minor adjustment, play the note until it appears to be in tune on your tuner, so when the tick mark is in the middle of it. Now, if you've, pu if you've pushed in the barrel all the way, you can't push it in anymore, and the note is still flat, this most likely means your embouchure is too loose. Now, in order to fix this, you should tighten up your embouchure little by little, and play after each adjustment, and once the note appears to be in tune, stop making adjustments. Now, avoid tightening your embouchure too much or biting. Tightening your embouchure too much will completely close off the reed, which means no sound will come out like this. See how the note is barely coming out and it squeaked right at the beginning? This means the reed, it, too much pressure is being put on the reed, which is not allowing it to vibrate significantly. Now, biting will cause the same thing to happen. It'll cause your clarinet to squeak or the sound won't come out properly. The clarinet is a pretty cool instrument because of how impressive the range is, like how low it can go and how high it can go. Now, my first piece of advice to improving your range is to definitely invest in a harder read. Now, this is a disclaimer. This may not be necessary for everyone, but I'm just going off of what I had to do personally. If your read is too soft, it won't be able to support the amount of air you're putting into the read which means it will either not make a sound at all or it will squeak constantly the higher you try and build your range. Another piece of advice that I have for improving your range, and this is more directed towards beginner players who are trying to go over the break, is to look in the mirror while you're playing. Most beginner players aren't used to having to go from covering pretty much none of the holes, such as when you're playing A, to covering all of the holes, such as when you're playing B natural. It's important to make sure that all of your fingers are covering the holes completely, because even if one hole is not covered all the way, the note will squeak, such as like this. See how it's squeaking? That's because my finger was slightly off of this hole, which means that not all the holes are covered, and therefore it squeaked. An important exercise that you should consistently do if you want to improve your range and stay in tune more consistently is to practice long tones. So long tones are basically when you sustain a note for a long period of time, I would say at least four counts. And this can make it easier to identify bad embouchure habits, alternate fingerings, and how to keep specific notes in tune. There are many ways you can execute long tones. One way that I like to do it is to knock out my scale practice and long tones within the same exercise. For example, you can pick out a scale, let's say concert B flat major. You can sustain each note a specific amount, set a specific tempo on your metronome, and either ascend the scale or go up the scale, or you can do it descending the scale or going down the scale. Either way works. Another way you can execute long tones is to just pick any note. Let's say C. 
and you can either go up chromatically or up a half step, so from C to C sharp. Or you can go, or you can descend chromatically or go down a half step. So this would be from C to B in this case. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some helpful tips and tricks that you can use when you're playing your clarinet. And just remember, without the clarinet, life would be flat. Mm-hmm.